हेलो नाउ लेट मी डिस्कस द केस स्टडीज आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग इन माय पार्ट वन द बेसिक्स ऑफ एनालिसिस ऑफ लिपिड प्रोफाइल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ जेंटलमैन हु इज फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड मेल जस्ट केम फॉर अ रूटीन चेकअप डजेंट हैव एनी अदर अब नॉर्मेलिटी इन ई इज नॉर्मल एंड सो इज द ब्लड प्रेशर so now this cholesterol is uh, 194 and ldl cholesterol 122 i would have ignored 122 in the past because i thought that cholesterol uh, ldl less than 130 is normal but this is 122 so it would have been normal according to the previous guidelines but if i take the risk calculator the risk gives me on a low risk category that is 2.4 in uh, 10 years uh, period because he is a low risk there is no risk factor involved in this patient i included high risk region that, like in india now in this fertile area where should this gentleman fall you know his target ldl is 116 and not 122 so for this case we would recommend a lifestyle modification to get the cholesterol down to 116 and in case the cholesterol does not come down to 116 ldl then we should consider the risk modifiers like we should get uh, uh, the calcium score then if the an lp little a right if we get it both done and we see in case there is a risk modifier present if calcium score is more than 200 then this gentleman is upgraded to a high risk category now if this calcium score is zero he remains in the low risk category so that's how we can upgrade uh, the category in case there is a risk modifier present second patient is a 56 year female she is hypertensive and uh, uh, this is the lipid profile we have total cholesterol is 226 with an ldl of 136 so what is the risk factor you know the risk factor according to the high risk zone she falls in a moderate risk category that is between 5 to 10% uh, a risk cumulative risk what should we do now she falls in this moderate risk category tertile so her ldl should be 100 her ldl was 136 so what should be done now this patient needs lifestyle modification we need about 36% reduction in the ldl cholesterol and we can consider a moderate intensity statin which is atorvastatin of about 20 mg and rosuvastatin of about 10 mg to get this 30% reduction in ldl cholesterol again in this category it's a good idea to do a calcium scoring on an lp little a to know if the if the calcium score is high or lp little a is more than 50 then we would upgrade this uh, patient to a higher category that is when ldl would be required to be reduced to 30% 30 mg all right so now another case study looks very very okay now this is 54 years old male with who is a smoker and blood pressure is nearly normal and so is the cholesterol the ldl is 124 we always look at the ldl first now the ldl is 24 and then we we need to know what is the risk factor for this 50 year old male with a who the diabetic and a smoker now diabetics puts in in a higher risk category and if the person has another risk factor he shifts to a very high risk category so this is the the uh, the risk category what we have this is 20% of uh, cvd risk little more than 20 he falls in between a high risk and a very high risk category and if in a very high risk category or a high risk category the ldl target should be less than 55 so his target ldl is 55 now its ldl is 124 we are looking for something like 40 to 50% reduction in the ldl cholesterol it can be achieved by the lifestyle modification but we need to start an high intensity statin in this patient that is 20 mg of rosuvastatin and 40 mg of atorvastatin 
So we need up to about 50% reduction in LDL cholesterol plus the LDL should be less than 55. Another patient who is a diabetic, 64 years male, and uh, he's hypertensive with an EC showing a left ventricular hypertrophy, and that's uh, the cholesterol. So he has multiple risk factors. Now he's, he's diabetic, he's uh, hypertensive, his LDL cholesterol is 200 and, uh, 164. Now this falls in a very high risk category, 32% risk in 10 years of developing a coronary artery event or a cardiovascular event, which is pretty high. So what should we do in this patient? He falls in a very high risk category. The LDL should be less than 55. Now his LDL is 164. Now from 164 to 55 is a long journey and it's not possible to be achieved by a small dose of uh, the drug. So he needs a high intensity statin which was started in this patient, the Zuba statin 20 milligram, but his LDL came to 104 only. So despite lifestyle modification and high intensity statin, LDL has still not reached the goal. The goal is 55 and LDL is 104. What options do we have here? Now the options are we can increase the Zuba statin to 40 milligram but still would not make a great difference in the LDL, not more than 10%. Now we can increase to 40 milligram and then add a zitimibe. A zitimibe would get the LDL down by about another 13 to 14 percent and if required we can add a bampidoic acid also. So that is a zitimibe, it's uh, uh, this inhibitor of this receptor and it inhibits absorption of the cholesterol and it can be added to it reduces LDL by about 20% alone and increases HDL also. So this can, this is a very well tolerated uh, medicine can be added with statin and there are a lot of trials proving that this works very well and this is another trial which says that uh, the reduction is, is uh, as good as a high intensity statin and this should be added. The pampidoic acid is another molecule which blocks cholesterol synthesis. This can also be added to the current regimen. And there have been proof that pampidoic acid about 180 milligram uh, is able to reduce LDL by another 13 to 25 percent if we add to the statin. And in case we add a combination of pampidoic acid and azotamide, we can achieve a reduction of about another 38 percent. This is what we were looking for in our patient. In this patient, we added azotamide, didn't reach the goal, and then we added, uh, added uh, the pampidoic acid. The LDL was something like 56, 57, which is pretty okay. Another patient, a 52-year male, he left smoking a year back when he got an angioplasty done for a right coronary artery. He had an inferior valve myocardial infarction. He was put on a zuvastatin and 10 milligram of azitamide after six months because the LDL targets were not achieved. He had an angina on exertion and ECG showed an ST segment depression in the lateral leads but echo showed a new regional wall motion normality in LAD territory. So now he undergoes an angiography and uh, gets a stenting done uh, to the left coronary artery. Fine, we open the artery and this is the cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is less than 70. Are we looking for this LDL cholesterol? Are we happy with this? The Rizuva statin is a, is a temib combination? Not so because he had a second vascular event. And what is the target for second vascular event? The LDL should be less than 40. So we are targeting LDL less than 40. Let me tell you here something very important. Whatever the low LDL is, it has been proven, has practically no impact on the life. So even low LDL cholesterols are perfectly fine. There's no problem with low LDL at all. Human beings are born with an LDL of about 30 to 50. Our closest primates also have LDL less than 50. So 
we can survive and do well with any level of LDL. So should not get worried on LDL being less than 50. So we need LDL less than 40 in this case and we have LDL of 68 with the distamib and uh, uh, high intensity statin. We can increase the statin, we can add bampidoic acid or we can consider an injection in scleron for to be given in this patient. We, when we are looking for an LDL reduction of something like 70 to 80 percent, then we have a couple of options. Statins can't do it. We have an option like PCSK9 inhibitors. We have a PCSK9 inhibitor. This is the mechanism of action of PCSK9. Or we can give inscleron to these patients because these patients can do well. The inscleron injection is more infrequently given, can be given uh, first injection and then on three months and then every twice in a year this injection can be given which is practically compliant. So thanks guy for watching this uh, and I'll keep more case studies for future and I think let's keep saving life. Here I would request you it's a good idea to subscribe the channel so that you know you I'll you'll be notified as and when I post any new 